What's going on guys? Loan Driver Mike again bringing you guys another video. Guys, what's up? So anyways, let's get into the video. Don't want to talk your ear off even though I, I am about to. <laughs> okay, so DoorDash. Or as I like to call them, Door Trash. So anyways, let me let me tell you what's going on with them because you know what? There's a lot of new things with them and I don't even do them anymore. So let me explain what's going on with them and one of their new policies. So now you can get deactivated for being late. So that's crazy because they can actually deactivate you for unassigning orders. Like if you accept and then unassign it. That's why I don't know why people still do door trash because their, their policies and their deactivation policy it's getting out of hand to where if you do this, you'll get deactivated. But if you do that instead of doing that, you'll still get deactivated. And it's just it's just outrageous. Like, I don't know why people still run DoorDash, Door Trash, you know. Um, they don't support the drivers. They don't give a fuck, you know, about... I mean, it's just like... So anyways, there's a new policy that they have that if you're late, you can actually be deactivated. And that's, that's outrageous. Because let's say what, for example, you get an order and it's a good payout or what, what have you. Or it's a decent, let's say it's a decent payout. But you get it and it's already late, right? Someone reassigned it to you. Let's say you're at like 80% acceptance rate, uh, completion rate. If you want to sign that, because I know if you go below 80%, they can deactivate you for that. But it's already late. So, it's like you're double fucked. And that's the thing. When you get the order, you don't even know if it's late. You have to accept the order and then you find out the time frame. Oh shit, I'm already late. It's been rejected so many times or whatever happened. And then you get it. So if you reassign it, that can ding your completion rate. But if you do it and you deliver it late, you still get you still get dinged for that. So you can get deactivated for delivering a late order, and you could get deactivated for reassigning the order, not doing the order. Just accepting and then saying, oh shit, it's late. Let me unassign it. Now if your completion rate already low. You can't do that either. So I'm just like, people talk about DoorDash, how great they are. I'm like, no, they're fucking trash. DoorDash is not good, man. You got Uber Eats that don't care if you're late. They don't have no rating system. Same with Postmates. They don't care if you're late. You don't get in trouble. You don't get a rating. Same with Grubhub. You know, you're late or whatever. It's out of your control. You know, plus you don't get no rating either with Grubhub. The only one you get a rating and they care if you're late and they care if you like accept or decline orders or reassign orders is DoorDash. They're all strict when they're actually the worst app out of all of them. So I don't know why you guys support DoorDash, such a trashy ass company, but they have all these rules and then you have actual customer rating and it can't fall below, I want to say 4.5. So if your customer rating falls below 4.5, if your completion rate drops before 80%, and if you're late, I think it's like more than 15 minutes late, but you know, and you can get deactivated. Three, three different reasons why you can get deactivated. And then you can randomly get deactivated for not wearing your mask or not wearing a shirt or not getting using your bag or the customer just randomly calling and saying they never got their food, which a lot of these customers are lying just to get free food. So, out of all the apps, DoorDash is the worst one, and you can get fucked and deactivated a hundred different ways. Right? And then you got apps like Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Postmates with integrity that they don't have no rating system, and there's they don't care if you're late. Like, you have to really mess up to get deactivated from Grubhub, Uber Eats, and Postmates. 
And, but with DoorDash, you can get deactivated like so easy. And they don't care. Like you can call and complain and say this and that, and this customer did this and that. They don't care. So DoorDash is just completely outrageous. Their deactivation policy is, is so strict now that you can't even do nothing wrong. You can't do one thing wrong or you can get deactivated. They're deactivating dashers like crazy. You're late, your completion rate too low, oh, your customer's rating too low, oh, customer lied and said they never got their order when you actually did drop off their order. You can get deactivated for all those different reasons. And I'm like, why don't you guys, I'm gonna put my links below, okay? In every one of my videos, there's one link, but that link takes you to all my links. It takes you to my, you know, my DoorDash link, my Grubhub link, my Postmate link, my Uber Eats link. I got some other links for like um, banking, I try and banking to get, I think if you sign up, you get $50. Um, you get direct deposit two, up to two days early. No, no overdraft fees, no monthly fees either. And then I got some other links that you could sign up and get a bonus or something from. But that's what I'm saying, like, keep an open mind and have other apps. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, DoorDash is so easy to get deactivated from. And their, their policies, they're just absolutely outrageous. And the pay is really not even that good. Like my best payouts come from Grubhub, Uber Eats, and uh, Postmates. I get hella good tips. And like I said, when a customer complains on DoorDash, DoorDash automatically takes the customer aside. And if you get enough reports of that missing food, you're done. You're done. You're just done. You can't get back in. You're done. You're fucked. So to all the drivers, and I'm telling you this because I care about you guys. Not because I just want to talk shit about DoorDash. I'm doing this to help the drivers. I made this channel for you guys. To help you guys out. So when I tell you this, when I tell you guys something, you guys got to listen because I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this shit for five fucking years, okay? And this this is, this is should be some type of urgency, okay? So if you only run DoorDash, if that's the only app you run is DoorDash, you need to ASAP sign up for Postmates, Grubhub, and Uber Eats as soon as possible because there's gonna be a day where you do get deactivated and it's gonna happen. Eventually it's gonna happen. You're not gonna you're not gonna see a lot of drivers staying drivers for so long on DoorDash. You're gonna eventually get deactivated and they just hire new people. That's all they do. They don't care about you've been loyal, you have 5,000 deliveries, you've been doing them for three or four years. Oh, your customer uh, rating is good. They'll still deactivate you. They don't give a fuck. So, I'm going to tell you this right now because I care about you guys. And this should be very, this is very urgent message to everybody. Okay, because DoorDash, before their deactivation policy wasn't too bad. It was kind of understanding. Now, it's like a lot more strict. And so, it's, it's serious. It's a big, big damn fucking problem. Especially if that's the only app you run. And it's like, I don't want to pull my hair. I don't have no hair, but so I cut it. But it's like, you guys need to actually run other apps. So this is a warning to you guys. If you only, if you're watching this video for the first time or whatever, you just subscribed to my channel or whatever, or a long time subscriber of mine, it don't matter. If you only run DoorDash, I don't want to hear the excuses. You need to apply for Grubhub. You need to apply for Postmates. And you need to apply for Uber Eats. And any other app you can think of. There's other apps too you could do. Uber and Lyft. You know. Instacart. Shift. So. Look under the description in my video. After you watch the video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Because you know guys help me out I help you guys out I you know I return the favor that's all I'm saying but I'm dead serious about this 
there's going to be a day where DoorDash does deactivate you. And if you're not already on Uber Eats, Postmates, or Grubhub, or some other apps, you're fucked. You're going to be like, how am I going to pay rent? How am I going to, you know, if you don't have no money saved up, if you don't have no backup plan, you're, you're basically fucked. So do not rely on DoorDash. I'm going to tell you that right now because it's so easy to get deactivated now. It's not even funny. So anyways, guys, click my links below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Because some of you guys do multi-app, and I'm glad you guys do. The, the people that are watching it, if you multi-app, thank you. Thank you very much. But if you know some friends that only do DoorDash, share this video with them. If they won't listen to you, let them listen to my video. Because some people, some of your family and friends, they're stubborn, and I know. But they need to hear the truth. So help them out. Help me out. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And like I said, my links are down below. We can get a, we can get a little bonus, a little cash bonus. Help each other out. But that's it, guys. But seriously, like, comment, subscribe. Sign up for these apps. These links below in my description because DoorDash, I'm telling you, once you're deactivated, that's it. If you don't have other apps, you're fucked. So anyways, guys, thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Click the links below. And that's it. All right, guys. Peace out. See you.